Is something wrong? This looks just like... Could it be? Oh, what's that? This is the Maristella. That's the Maristella? The treasure that you've been searching for? I... What? Seriously? Never imagined we'd find it in a place like this. Uh, I've been searching for it for so long, and now I finally found it. Well, what are you gonna do next? Weren't you gonna use that as a clue to find your grandpa? I. But now's not the time. Wait, but wasn't I afraid the one who hid the Maristella? Now's hardly the time to be excited over some treasure. I. We need to hurry up and beat that scallywag Alexei to a pulp. With all the henchmen he's got, why would Jaeger come alone? Well, he did have his two lady friends with him, though they didn't attack us. Who knows? Maybe he thought dying would be the easiest way to solve his problems. What do you mean? I'm not too sure myself. Guess there's no looking back now. We're taking Alexei down, it's that simple. We can't let the world become any more chaotic than it already is. It's up to us to stop him. Everything we've done is for this moment. Every one of us is ready for whatever may happen. Let's do this! <laughs> This looks like fun! What rock you crawled out from? Bring it! finding a treasure earlier. What was it? It's the Maristella. Having it in my hands really hoists my honor among pirates. Ruth's honor? Is it really that special? That little thing? It's not only small. If I have an itch on my head, I can use it to scratch it. You can? 
And if I polish it enough, I can use it as a mirror and find any food stuck on my face. That too? And if I whirl it around just so, it becomes a deadly weapon. And even that? Wait, what am I saying? Why do I always get caught up in your spell, Patty? Merely one of the powers of this symbol. Really? You'll fall for anything, won't you? That's far enough. We'll never let you through. The Royal Guard? Then Alexei must be just up ahead. He's gotta be. All right, guys, let's do this. We'll destroy them in no time. Almost feel sorry for them. Captain, are you all right? Sodia, Witcher, were you able to withstand Zod's attacks? The ships are anchored at a distance. We're the advance party. Those who came after us have divided into small groups and are proceeding with the landing. You're being cautious. That's smart. If you came in force and got caught, that'd be the end of that. From here on, this is our duty. You need to withdraw. Perky as ever, aren't you? Sorry, but we're gonna ignore you on that one. If we did that, everything we've done up until now would be for nothing. I think we should cooperate, but that's just me. Aye, we've all come to defeat Alexei after all. She's right. We're all here to bring Alexei down. Well, and save the world in the process, right? Yeah, I heard. Okay then, let's all play nice and go pound this guy. Well, well. Everyone's here. Welcome to the very depths of the ocean. It's over, Alexei. Don't add to your crimes any further. Ah, Princess Esteles. How nice to see you up and about. Which tells me Jaeger was useless. He's dead. I thought surely he'd come through in the end, but oh, how I was mistaken. Is toying with the destinies of others how you have your fun? Alexei, what happened to the ideals you held? What changed? Flynn, are you still saying things like that? Nothing has changed except my methods. Absolute power is all that can revive this rotting, stagnant empire. Indeed, the world. And just how many lives do you plan to sacrifice to acquire it? No true reformation could occur so long as I followed the means presented by the empire. You should understand this well. Whoa, whoa. Don't tell me you're actually listening to this drivel. Nonsense. It's all nonsense. Every word out of his mouth is a lie. Why have you taken such a hurtful path? Someone of your stature could have found another way. At times, dreamers must suffer being branded as criminals. But I'll suffer such burdens gladly. I promise to free this world from the Entelechaea, from the air, and from this pitiful empire. This world shall be reborn! I don't give a damn what you're doing this for, but you're making a lot of people cry. And that's enough of a reason to take you down! There's no turning back now. How tedious. If you'll excuse me, I'm a very busy man. Jump!
Hey, boss. So you really want to go through with this? Must I put up with such questions, even from you? None of you, none, thinks the Empire is in the right. The ends don't always justify the means, boss. These kids taught me that. I could never agree with your way of doing things. A way that is filled with pain. If you truly have no intention of changing your ways, then... The guilds and the Empire both have good points. You can't just wipe them out and start over. Using force will surely breed resentment and contempt. You do know that, don't you? There's no guarantee the world you'd make would be any better than this one. I didn't place my trust in you so you could force your ideas on the entire world. If realizing your vision requires destruction, then I have no choice but to end you here and now. All the booty in the world couldn't make me sign on as part of your twisted dream. Nobody's gonna buy what a bastard like you says. I see my explanations are wasted on you. The small-minded always fear change. However, all the air in the world is now in my grasp. You have no hope of victory. Yeah, right. You're still trying to figure out the formula for this place. What? Rita, what do you mean? This guy still hasn't completely unlocked Zaude's controls. Is he just buying time? Ah, uh, yes. Rita Mordio. How very careless of me. Are you serious? And you think you can change the world? Don't make me laugh. How very right you are. Very well. Then this will be one more trial along my path to my rightful place as ruler. <gasps> you will be the first sacrifice made for the new world's dawn. Come! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I thought he didn't have all of Zaude's power yet. He doesn't, but he may have enough. <laughs> He's been the world on this. He's got to pull out all the stops. Let's go! This this wor world will be reborn. Do not interfere. Nobody gives a damn about whatever world you want. You're a fool to cross swords with me. Damn, he may be crazy, but he still fights like a commandant. You are foolish to rebel against your destiny. I've chosen my own destiny. To fight you. Not a single one of you could best me. You've chosen the wrong path. We finish this now. Raging oh, ice
That's enough for now. Now the law will give you your due punishment. I hope it all works out, but... I'm even stronger now! <laughs> you... It's over, Alexei. Is this the top of Zauda? Together, the might of Zaude. No, you fool. Yuri, look out. Ah! Flynn. Zaude, 
No, but I thought... This cannot be. The Arafagos. Did you use that much air? No. This catastrophe has always waited there. What? What do you mean? The Arafagos was never eliminated. It was just sealed off far from sight. Yes. And now it has returned to spread the ruin it once rained down upon the ancients. And to think, I caused it all! The ultimate irony! <laughs> you mean Zauda had been holding it back this entire time? Look out! We were never more than worms writhing before an approaching storm! The time has come, our death draws near. No one can escape its doom! <laughs> Shut up already, you bastard! <laughs> it seems in the end that I <laughs> was the greatest fool of all. over there somewhere. The Arafagos disappeared into the void. Yeah, well, guess they didn't really say they destroyed that thing. They just went off and left this piece of crap remnant behind. Uh, Flynn? My room. Why? Didn't think she hated me this much. Oh. Huh? The child of the full moon. The leaders of the ancients possessed an innate power and were called the children of the full moon. The shrine of Zaude received their lives and power. It sealed the Autophagus away, saving the world. You have awakened. Duke, so it was you who saved me. I couldn't afford to have this sword lost to the sea forever. Okay, I still owe you my thanks. So, the Shrine of Zaude was powered by the lives of the Children of the Full Moon? Humans brought forth the Autophagos and led it. Consider it... Atonement. The few remaining Children of the Full Moon, together with the Antilochea, decided on how the world would be. The Imperial Family are their descendants. So that's how the Empire started. And that's why that sword, the key to Zaude, will prove a true Emperor. As long as air is used, no one can oppose the Autophagos, for it is born of air itself. You wanted to stop the Autophagos, too. That's why you were going around calming all the air crene, right? Correct. Why didn't you ask for help from the Empire or the Guilds? You could have stopped Alexei if you'd done that. I have aligned myself with the Entelikea. I have no intention of coexisting with humanity. What's more, the masses of humanity will never come to any accord. So, what are you trying to do? 
The autophagos was too much, even for that ancient civilization. There is a way. You say you despise humanity, but what about us? Aren't we human? Why did you give me De Nomos? Why did you cooperate? You were the only ones who even attempted to communicate with the Entelechea. That is why. Never mind, it is done. Wait, what are you gonna do? I will protect our world, our Terka Lumeres. Hold on! Ugh, damn it! Estelle? Repeat? Yuri! <laughs> Ouch! Hey, hold on a sec! Yuri! It's really you! Right? You're not a ghost or something! Oh good, you have a shadow! Yeah, I'm living! And yeah, that hurts! Thank goodness! I'm so happy! Pete just rushed out all of a sudden. I was so surprised. Thanks. I'm fine now. Is that wound from when you fell from Zauda? Huh? Oh, yeah. I guess so. I can't tell you how happy I am. Sorry to make you worry. I want to go tell everyone. They'll be so happy. What's everybody doing? Rita went to Zauda with Judith. She said there was a lot to study, being ancient ruins and all. That's Rita. Patty's helping out with repairs on the Fiertia too. Carol and Raven went back to Dongrest. It seems that relations between the Empire and the Guilds are worsening again. Are they still like that? Supposedly it's because of Zauda. They went to make sure the Guilds didn't do anything rash. First Heracles, then that. Guild or not, people are going to be on guard. It's troubling Yoder as well. And Flynn is being Flynn and going off to all corners of the world. Everyone's working hard. They thought they should do what they can, even without you. Yeah. Because we knew. We knew you were alive. Hmm. Even Flynn took ships out to look for you so many times. I'm so sorry. But thanks to you, I'm all fixed up. You should still rest today. Rita, Carol, they can all wait a little longer to see you. <laughs> As you wish. Estelle, repeat. Sorry to worry you. We were stuck on top of Zauda. We couldn't get down. But Flynn and all the rest of the knights managed to help us. Huh. Sounds like everyone had a pretty rough time. But we're all safe now. All of us. I'm so happy. The air crisis, Duke, the autophagos. We still got a mountain of problems to deal with. Alexei unleashed something terrible. I'm tired of all this freeing the world nonsense. 
Just what is the Autophagos? Who knows? A catastrophe. It can't be anything good. <sighs> Guess I get to fight a big one this time. It certainly is. So, you're going after it? It doesn't look like I'll have a normal life if I don't. A normal life? For everyone. That's why we fight. Yeah, that's enough, right? Yes, it is. I thought I heard a familiar voice. <laughs> it's really you. Thanks, everybody. Don't go taking that young lady around everywhere. She must be tired. What do you mean? Estelle, were you using your power? She fixed up every wounded person who came back. We're all in her debt. If there's anything else I can do, please let me know. Nice to see the lower quarters back to normal. It'd be perfect if only that thing in the sky weren't there. Don't worry. Leave it to brave Vesperia. There you go again. And just how are you gonna close up that hole in the sky? Hey, if anyone can do it, Yuri can. Yeah, he never makes promises he can't keep. That's far enough. Now you, what do you want? <laughs> I say, take a look at this. Huh? A warrant? For me? Just Yuri? I say a knight's duty is to apprehend the unlawful. So I'm the only one with a bounty on my head? Nobody else? That has nothing to do with the matter at hand. <clears throat> we have a proposal. Return to the knights, and this all goes away. What? Someone high up is making a fuss about leaving you to do as you please. So... You'd feel better putting the reins on me. Now you've got the idea. <sighs> hey, Swan! What? Where? Hey, wait! So long, everyone. Take care! <laughs> Just as I thought. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Let's go! Arrest that man! <sighs> this hill's pretty brutal. Those knights are amazing. They are tenacious. Yuri! Whoa, Patty. Where did you come from? Yuri! Thank the Seven Seas! I knew you were still alive! Yep, still kicking. Somehow. Oh! Huh? Hey, Judith! Estelle, I just came to get you. Where's Rita? Rita's in Ospio, putting together all of her research. You'll come too, right? Yeah, if you don't mind me catching a ride. Then let's go. Sorry to make you worry, Judy. My heart was about to burst from worrying so much. Yeah, right. Hey, I really mean it. Wait! Not again. Just once. Just once I want to take it easy when I leave someplace. Goodbye, knights. Get back here! Seeing the Autophagos just there in the sky, it's horrible. Yeah. To think that catastrophe from the legend was hidden up there all along, it's creepy. It just showed up in the sky out of nowhere. All the people must be so worried. I'd rather see what we're up against than let it grow out of control somewhere hidden away. Your spirit is amazing, Judith. It might be a good thing to have the danger right out in front of us, though. It'll bring together people who'd never get along otherwise. True. When you can no longer deny the Autophagos exists, all that's left is to face it. You're right. Thank you. 
like she's blind to everything but her research right now. I can't really blame the people here for treating her like such a weirdo. She looked so happy. She must have discovered something. I hope so. Let's go and see. I'm really glad to see you're still breathing, Yuri. Sorry that I made you look for so long. Well, it wasn't my first treasure hunt, was it? Estelle was the first one who found him, though. Right. So alas, we were delayed. Are you really treating me like some pretty bobble to be picked up? You're the treasure I've always been looking for. Oh, now that's true on multiple levels. No special meaning. I mean what I said. Indeed, you are all treasures to me. And now we're off on another treasure hunt? Exactly. We'll have to be quick and be sure nobody gets to our loot before us. be able to calculate the force field stability coefficient. So... Rita? We can make a key formula. Efficiency is okay. Making a stable non-dispersing piece should be... Hey, Rita! What? Don't bother me! Huh? Oh, it's you. How did you get into... Wait, you're... Hi. Where the hell were you? I looked all over for you, you know. Ah, uh, sorry about that. <sighs> well, whatever. I don't have time to argue about that. I have something very important to talk to Estelle about. To Estelle? I may have found a way to control the behavior of air. Really? That's great, Rita! I learned lots of things when I investigated Zaude. Like, how we might be able to apply the techniques used there. However... That is related to Estelle's power as a child of the full moon? We need to interact with the air to make it recombine freely according to a formula. This is something only Estelle can do. If only I hadn't given De Nomos back. Did you meet Duke? Yeah, he saved me. Well, he said it was so he could recover the sword. That sword's different from the child of the full moon. I doubt it could be a substitute. But that control formula you used on Estelle... That was to control the power of the Child of the Full Moon, wasn't it? Yeah. So if we're going to control the air with this theory, we have to release the control formula on Estelle. So, if everything goes right, we control the air. But if we screw up, the air will get even worse and the world will fall to the Autophagos. Is that about right? That's quite a bold plan. Aye, it's a plan as bold as jellyfish stuck in shallow waters. Uh, sure. Let's go with that. Anyway, I'm sure it'll be fine. Estelle, believe me. Lend me your power. <sighs> Are you scared? No, I'm happy. I might still be able to use my power to help others. Rita, please let me know if there's anything I can do. So what exactly do we need to do? Well, I'm not completely finished working everything out. Give me a little more time. Okay, we'll go see Carol and Raven while you figure things out. Great! I'll go too. I've got all the materials I need in my head. I'll let you know when I work it all out. All right, me hearties! Let's get going! <sighs> oh, if he was safe, the least he could have done is let us know. That idiot. 
Yeah, if we'd known he was okay, we wouldn't have wasted all this time looking for him. But we wouldn't have known he was alright if we hadn't looked. Which is why he should have let us know in the first place. I mean, we looked all over. We'd be too worried about him if we hadn't. You were really worried, weren't you, Rita? What? Thank goodness you're safe, Fury. Yes, I'm so glad. And just look how happy Rita is. Hap! Are you happy? Uh, 